hello hello my people welcome back to my channel and continue subscribing tungangane tufike yo five so for those who have not subscribed and for those who have subscribed kindly watch my videos please don't just subscribe and then you left you know you're supposed to watch the video so that you can get views and you're not a dormant subscriber kindly now there has been a debate when it comes to politics about the Igembe South member of parliament John Paul Murigi who has been com contemplating returning a Toyota Prado that was gifted to him by the now head of state in 2017. The reason why he wants to take it back or is thinking about it or there is a debate about it is that he is now supporting the other party Mr. Ruto and all he needs is peace of mind and independence. He says that the car gifted to him did not come with any conditions and that he will support William Ruto in the August 9th elections. Now, if I take you back for just a moment, Mr. Murigi, who was 23 in the 2017 campaigns, shocked the nation when he campaigned on a bicycle and won the Igembe South seat as an independent candidate. Now, all this is coming in as a reaction that was a response to Cabinet Secretary Peter Munya after he accused John of being disrespectful and ungrateful after Uhuru's generosity. This is what he said in a meeting. You don't insult an elder who addresses you as his son and bought your first car out of love. You should reciprocate by supporting him and telling people the good things he has done for them. When Mr. Murigi was addressing journalists after the meeting, he accused Mr. Munya of intimidating him using the gift. He went on to say that, that Mr. Munya is using the president's gesture to pursue his personal interests and that the gift was not supposed to influence his decisions as a leader. And in any case, it is D.P. Ruto who told the head of state that the best gift he could give him was to make his work easier by way of mobility. Furthermore, he added that even if the gift had not come his way, he could still have bought a car using the 7 million car grant given to MPs. He also said that Uhuru himself has never indicated that he wants the car back and he respects the president. He appreciates his gift and knows how to thank him when he retires. What is your take on this? Drop your comment in the comment section to Kisonga.